everybody. Matt here. It's April uh, 24th and we're doing a little bit of discing today. Going over some uh, corn stalks that's going to go to beans. Or, uh, we don't do any no-till. I guess we probably should try and incorporate some of that in our program but we haven't really gone that far yet. I'm up here on uh, my, my farm. We call it section one. One that I rent. And the last year, it got 36 bushels of the acre corn. It got completely hammered July 10th with hail. And they said uh, in the years that the adjusters have done it, they haven't seen hail that bad in a long time. So I combined that. I believe it was September, end of September. It was in September. I've never combined corn in September before. And my dad doesn't remember combining corn in September in a long time. But we're up here. I got this disc before we even started on anything last year. Got what was left of the stalks covered. And now we're just knocking down the rest of the stalks. Um, actually, some of the spots are still a little wet. But we're actually trying to get it so this ground is going to dry out. We've been having a lot of rain. And we've got more rain coming. So hopefully if we get it worked up a little bit and we've got some more rain, it'll... Uh, percolate into the ground a little bit easier. Um, hopefully I'll be done here today. We're in the 7130 and then I can go to another farm. I got dad's out at the home place uh, doing the same thing, disking up some stuff that we just chiseled. So I, I'll throw you on the throw you on the on the disc and on the three point of the tractor for a little bit and anything else hopefully I don't get stuck anywhere. I was out here yesterday, got all that done, there's a wet spot right there, and this intake right up here is pretty wet, just trying to get through it, trying to make it so the, the water will hopefully drain through the ground naturally, or at least maybe get to that intake right there, that orange thing, gotta go a little bit more, a little bit more ways there we uh, planted a waterway in there beginning of the week a local guy came and did some dozer work and we're gonna put a waterway in there this is our hilliest farm but honestly there's not a lot of potholes so it actually it actually has pretty good yield most years just because there's not very many potholes downfall of tillage and farming in northwest Iowa. I can't even say all of northwest Iowa, but at least our area anyway. Seems like they dropped all of the rocks. The glaciers dropped all the rocks in our area. So there's a reason why on this farm we uh, really just like to take this old disc. And some of the disc blades are actually broken on it or they're, they've been damaged. They need to get redone. We know that. But here's the reason. I was... Uh, going with this heard uh saw the disc raise heard it then the back raised so i got out and so 
I guess we get to dig that out. I'm guessing I'm probably going to need the backhoe anyway. I don't know if you can tell. That rock goes from there to there. And then from there to there. Hey everybody, it's uh, two days later after disking. Got a little bit of rain yesterday, so we're out here digging some rock. I missed the first one and uh, I missed actually the first two, but uh, here we are digging the third. I only have, uh, I've got one more left after this and hopefully we're done digging rock up here for at least this season. I highly doubt it because I have a feeling when we get to that side of the field, there's gonna be even more and maybe that hill there. So I'll throw you on the backhoe and let you see what's going on. I don't really have a, anything to really compare it to, but it's about as tall as my knee. I'm 6'1". We get a lot of these. A couple of them a year. I've dug up about three of them this size so far this morning already. Just something about it. This, this field... This field, this is where the glaciers melted and they left all the rock. So we just deal with it, I guess. Here's the last one that I had. This is all in one hole. You can see how the ground is broken up that big rock into a bunch of little rocks. And we actually have a lot of them that are that, that, are that uh, purple color. I don't know what kind of rock that is, but uh, I guess it's not too exciting. But we've got a lot of them out here. And uh, we try and pick them up as best we can. We try and pick them up in the spring while we're uh, field cultivating or disking. And uh, like I said, we just do the best we can. And we haven't had a lot of time. Normally in the summertime, we're able to just go out and pick them with the four wheeler or the ranger while the crop is up. But we haven't had a lot of time lately. So our, our summers, our springs turn to summer and it, it just everything's go 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 so anyways i'm gonna go dig the last one hopefully it's uh, a little bit smaller than that one